Hi, I'm Peter Kernström of Kernström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will build a flow that notifies me when a new procedure is added. So I'm going to start by doing that. Let's deselect Antonio there and create a new flow. I'm going to create not from one of the templates, but I'm going to show more and create from a blank template. And we can just start from scratch here under my flows. We will create from blank. I like that one best. Doesn't have that much uh, predefined things. When a file is added, that's what we need. We only need the properties of that. We don't need the actual documents in there. So we want to pick up the site we're working on. We're working in the HQ sites and we want to work in the procedures library. All right. So when that happens, we're going to send an email. So we're going to add an action and use Office 365 Outlook for that. There we go, send an email. When you're sending an email, you of course need to specify who is the recipient. I'm just going to enter myself there. Test new procedure with formatting from flow. All right, the key to this is of course that you need to enter the HTML here in the body. And to do that, you need to go under Show Advanced Options and make sure that, that this is actually HTML. Specify that, so you do the yeah, it's, it's HTML. And once you're done with that, once you have that setting in place, then you can specify the body in HTML format. So I've, I've used um, Visual Studio here to create a very, very simple HTML body. So as you see, it has a table with you know, the procedure name and the created by, and of course I'm going to enter the proper values here and here. So if I go into the source for this, you'll notice that it has some a bit of formatting, and it also has the table and an image tag there. To build an HTML email, I cannot put anything in the head. So I need to move that bit here, the style, down inside the body tag, that will still work. It's not really proper for HTML, but it will work. So this is what I want. So I'm gonna copy all of that, the, the stuff inside the body tag, including any style tags that I've defined. So let's copy that and put it in the, the body here. And there it goes. So now I just need to find the proper place to put my procedure name, and that's of course there. That's the procedure name. And then I'm going to find the dynamic content, and that would be the file name, right? That would be the name there. And let's just check that it got added in the right place. It did, but it didn't replace this space thingy here. There we go. So we have the name there, and then we have the created by. Uh, so we'll remove that bit there. Oops, too much. And then we will get the created by. Created by display name sounds perfect. So let's get that in there. All right, so now we have a formatted email and we can just save this one. And let's test it out. I'll perform the trigger action. And the trigger action is, of course, to upload or create a new document here in this procedure. So I'm going to upload a file. There we go. Now that's uploading. Let's go into run history here, and the flow ran successfully. We see the green checkboxes on each and every one there. So let's check my mail. Uh, let's see, it goes got there. Test new procedure with formatting. And as you see, we got the um, procedure name, we got the created by, and we got the formatting of the email, and we got the image. So everything works as it should. So the key, of course, is to build your HTML, move the CSS styles into the, uh, the body, and of course, check that this is HTML. That concludes this flow demo. Thank you for watching.